what happened with that bus was, was truly awful. And I think it's impossible not to be deeply shocked uh, when, you, when you find out what happened. Britain has a role both in arming the Saudis and with military personnel in place in the command centre from which these attacks are launched. Do we bear some of the responsibility for what happened? The complexity there is our relationship with Saudi Arabia, which is a very, very important uh, military ally to the UK. Um, we are their partners in fighting Islamist extremism and our relationship with Saudi Arabia means that we stop bombs going off on the streets of Britain. <laughs> Compelling evidence is emerging that the actual munition that destroyed the bus and killed all those children was an American Lockheed Martin bomb. Are you going to use your meetings here in Washington to urge the administration to review their entire approach to the war in Yemen, just as you apparently may be willing to do? We are, of course, going to be talking about the Yemen situation uh, with the administration here. Um, and I think they have a very similar approach to us. But as, as far as Britain's concerned, when it comes to arms sales, we have one of the strictest regimes in the world. Um, and we constantly review uh, whether the arms agreements that we make when we sell them, uh, whether they are being adhered to. Is the American system as tough as you say the British one is? Will you be, for instance, arguing that perhaps they should return to President Obama's ban on weapons sales? The American administration's approach is a matter for them, um, but uh, both for the United States and for the United Kingdom, uh, you know, we want to make sure that our allies uh, are you know, conducting their activities in a way that uh, we can defend to our own publics, um, but also respecting that they are allies. And so uh, we uh, will have these discussions, but very often they will be uh, frank discussions in private rather than uh, megaphone diplomacy.